everyone, I'm Zoe Canella reporting for Kids First, and today I'll be interviewing Chua Chow Edu4 from Maleficent 2, The Mistress of Evil. I'm so excited, so let's just get straight on into the interview. Hi, welcome, and congratulations for this incredible movie. <laughs> and Maleficent, the other one, I watched it when I was about six years old. In that film, I truly connected to it. It was probably the first film that I actually like cried inside a movie theater for. And I feel like in this fantastic world, they touch this, it touches you from the human condition. So how do you think that this movie connects with you? Oh, that's great. I think it, it, it connects on a, a lot of different levels, you know. And I, and I felt kind of very, in a, in a similar way to you, you know, I felt uh, very connected to the first one and I felt like it was very emotional. And, um, and I had grown up with, you know, sort of fairy tales um, and kind of characters like sort of the Wicked Witch, you know, that, um, that were very sort of straightforward. Like either they were good or they were evil, you know, the Wicked Witch being evil. Um, and what I thought was wonderful about Maleficent, you know, the first one, was that it changed all that, that um, the characters were kind of complicated and had good sides and bad sides. And I thought that that was a really interesting way of looking at this character, and I thought a really rich way of looking at this character. And so I was excited about how that would then expand into the second one, and, uh, and all of those themes would expand into the second one, which I think they did really a beautiful job of that. Yeah, and one of the many themes of this film is mother-daughter love, um, but also division. And Connell comes from this beautiful world to remind us a message, like, remember where you come from. So why do you think Connell is so important in the story? Well, Connell is a, an important character because he has all of this kind of, I think first of all, he has this great leadership quality, you know, that he represents this kind of leadership which is, you know, that has a sort of element of self-sacrifice to it, you know, where he wants these really great outcomes. But he's very powerful and he's a kind of warrior and at the same time he's a sort of thinker and he has empathy and he wants the best for his community. And so um, he sort of works in this, this sort of duality, which I think is really um, important in the story. Um, I think all of the characters do that yeah. in a way, you know, they all work within these sort of different, um, different dualities. and. Uh, and the ideas of him and his community working and trying to find a way to get past the sort of conflict with the human community and see what else is what else is there and what they might be able to resolve. That's such like a difference from Scar in the Lion King, because Scar is like evil and he's like such a warrior. That's cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So how was kind of the transformation into <clears throat> a fairy, like with the horns and the wings and everything, like in the makeup? Yeah, it took a little bit of time. Yeah. I mean, you can was, imagine. Yeah, the first time we did it was about five hours wow. of sitting there to get everything ready and get everything on. And um, but then when we were shooting, we started to get the time down a little bit, so it ended up being about three hours. But it was, it was it, in the end, it was kind of great because what I loved about yeah. it as an actor was that I could just so I'd sit in the makeup chair and slowly but surely, you know, I'd see Connell kind of arriving, and all of these <laughs> different elements would start to kind of come in. And, and then, so by the time the horns went on, which were more or less the last thing to go on, um, you know, I really felt like the character had arrived and uh, you feel all that kind of, you know, they're quite powerful characters and so it was great. Was it heavy on your head or anything? Initially it was kind of heavy, yeah. But then they changed it uh, so that it wasn't, because when, when I think when I first put them on, I found them quite difficult to balance, you know, because they were quite heavy and so yeah. my head carried them sort of moving <laughs> forward. And then they sort of changed it a little bit and just redesigned it, um, which was very, very handy. And so it just it sort of balanced it out a little bit and it was great. And I feel like Angelina Jolie, she kind of the perfect Maleficent. So how was it working with her? And do you think that as well? I think that 100%, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I think she's, Angelina's just a great actress, you know, and uh, I've worked with her before, actually, oh. uh, on Salt a few years ago. And so, uh, and I was really excited to work with, her, work with her again on this. You know, she's just a brilliant actress, and she's so involved in every kind of detail of, of, of the film. And um, so it's really exciting to, to work with somebody. And finally, like I said in the beginning, movies are so powerful. So what kind of movies as an actor and creator do you, interest you the most? 
think is I think for me it's films that are kind of that are visually engaging that you that you watch and they can tell a story you know even if you turn the sound down you'd really get something out of it just of the visuals and the nature of how that's been created but then also that they have these real thematic resonances that there's really have something underneath all of it when you turn the sound back up something really to sort of to say that reflects our world in some way and that can be entertaining and engaging and you know sort of and simple as well you know uh, it doesn't have to be sort of dark and, and, and complicated, but I feel like it's the, those for me are the best kind of films that can do that, the sort of visual, but also really have something to say. Thank you so much for talking with me. Pleasure. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out some of our other Kiss First reviewers and reporters on this channel. Goodbye.